Why do horses have low divorce rates? They have stable relationships. Today, I'm going to recap a 2022 action thriller film called My Name is Vendetta. The film begins with a father named Santo and his wife observing their daughter participating in a hockey match. After an extended period of gameplay, the daughter's team emerges victorious. Sofia, Santo's daughter, goes to her boyfriend first before approaching her parents. Upon meeting with her boyfriend, Sofia is welcomed by Santo and her mother. Before departing, Sofia secures a promise from Santo, as he had previously pledged to take her to the forest if she won the match. Santo reassures her he will honor his promise, but says they must first take her mother home. In summary, Santo and Sofia set out for the forest. Upon arrival, Sofia and Santo seem to be enjoying themselves, as Sofia relishes adrenaline pumping activities. Before heading back to the car, Sofia requests a photo with Santo, praising him as the best father and remarking that her mother is fortunate to have a husband like him. Santo declines, stating his dislike for photographs. He then proceeds to fix his car's mirror glass, which had been damaged by a tree trunk. Unbeknownst to him, Sofia secretly snaps a photo and plans to upload it to her Instagram story. Consequently, the biometry system detects this, revealing Santo's location to a mafia boss who has been searching for him. The boss immediately dispatches two henchmen to eliminate Santo. The following day, Santo works with his brother-in-law, but their wood-cutting machine malfunctions. His brother-in-law suggests going home since it's getting late, but Santo insists on fixing the machine and sends him to pick up Sofia from school. As it turns out, the brother-in-law's face resembles Santo's. In summary, after retrieving Sofia from school, he drives her home. There, he intends to have lunch at Santo's house while awaiting his arrival. However, the two henchmen arrive, intending to kill Santo and his family while filming the act. They mistakenly kill Santo's wife and brother-in-law, thinking the latter is Santo. Spotting Sofia upstairs, they chase her, but she manages to escape into the forest. Believing their primary target has been killed, they depart. When Santo returns home that evening, he is shocked to find his wife and brother-in-law dead. Sofia arrives simultaneously, and Santo immediately takes her away, fearing she might suffer the same fate as her mother. As Sofia questions why Santo left her mother behind, he promises to explain later, emphasizing that Sofia's safety is his utmost priority. Santo then brought Sofia to an abandoned warehouse, where he had concealed his true identity and arsenal. Upon entering, Santo immediately readied weapons and cut his hair, vowing to exact revenge. Santo then disclosed to Sofia that he was once a trusted associate of a notoriously ruthless mafia boss. He had wanted to leave the criminal life behind and live a normal existence with Sofia's mother, but the mafia boss threatened to kill her. One day, Santo resolved to eliminate the boss's biological child. Sofia was shocked to learn of her seemingly mild-mannered father's brutal past. Meanwhile, the mafia boss discovered the slaughter of Santo's family and realized his henchmen had killed the wrong person, indicating Santo was still alive. He ordered his right-hand man to locate Santo before Santo could reach them. The next day, Santo handed Sofia his cell phone and instructed her to wait in the warehouse until he returned, only allowing her to contact him. Two hours later, an illegal arms dealer, who regularly supplied the mafia boss, appeared. As Santo stabbed the man in the stomach, he demanded to know who had murdered his wife. In his dying moments, the man revealed Rudy and Marino, the mafia boss's two right-hand men, as the culprits. Confused, Sofia called her boyfriend for a ride. Upon hearing this, he quickly arrived to pick her up, but the mafia boss's biometric system detected the call. As Sofia and her boyfriend were about to leave, they encountered Marino's car. Marino opened fire, causing Sofia's boyfriend to lose control and crash into a tree trunk. Marino then killed Sofia's boyfriend without hesitation and captured Sofia. Although Sofia attempted to resist, Marino managed to confine her in a car garage before abruptly departing. Simultaneously, the mafia boss conversed with his youngest child, Michaela. 
He asked Michaela to join him in hunting Santo to avenge the death of Michaela's sibling, but Michaela suggested they let go of the past, angering the boss. It became clear that Michaela had started a private bank and sought to avoid any scandals that could tarnish its reputation. After spotting an empty house later that night, Santo instructed Sophia to halt, and they decided to stay there. Once inside, Santo experienced severe pain from Marino's earlier stabbing, and he collapsed, unable to bear the wound any longer. As her father lay dying, Sophia sought help outside, eventually finding an illegal abortion clinic. The doctor and staff initially refused to assist Sophia due to the late hour, but they agreed after she offered a substantial sum of money. Santo was urgently taken to the clinic for medical attention. He reminisced about his late wife, Ingrid, who was giving birth at the time they lived together. Sophia later discovered a letter in Santo's wallet, expressing gratitude for his life with his wife and their daughter. Meanwhile, the Mafia boss convened with Rudy, his remaining right-hand man, and Ferrario, the developer of the biometric system. The Mafia boss had been able to track Santo, thanks to Ferrario's assistance, and ordered him to pinpoint Santo's location by monitoring the city's CCTV cameras. The following day, Santo was seen recovering and apologized to Sofia for his past actions and her current suffering. He instructed her to prepare a car while he trailed her. At the same time, it was revealed that Ferrario had located them. Shortly after, Rudy and one of his men arrived on the scene. Amid a fight that led to Rudy falling down the stairs, Santo heard a gunshot. It appeared that Rudy's men had cornered Sophia outside. Rudy's men tried to inform him that they had captured Sophia, but only briefly, as Santo intervened and whisked Sophia away to safety. In brief, they found an abandoned warehouse where they planned to stay temporarily. Santo taught Sophia how to use a knife for self-defense, explaining various attack points and their effects. Subsequently, Santo constructed a cell phone-triggered bomb for future use. He informed Sofia that they would abduct Michaela, the Mafia boss's son, the next day. In short, Sofia approached Michaela's private bank the following day, but was stopped by the police and instructed to leave immediately. Upon entering their car, the officers found Santo already inside, holding a gun. He demanded to be taken to the employee parking area. Upon arrival, Santo attacked the officer, knocking him unconscious. As Santo entered the building, Sofia set off a small explosion as a diversion, allowing Santo to safely reach Michaela's office and escort him to the parking lot. Santo warned everyone to remain quiet, threatening to kill Michaela if they disobeyed. Sofia was waiting for him in the parking lot. Once they had successfully taken Michaela hostage and moved him to an empty warehouse, Santo sent a photo of Michaela to Rudy using the captive's phone. Santo then bid farewell to Sofia, intending to lure their pursuers to a train wreck. Meanwhile, Rudy informed the Mafia boss that Michaela was now a hostage and that Santo would not hesitate to kill him. Santo also sent a message to the Mafia boss, demanding he confess his sins from the past 30 years to the media. The Mafia directed Rudy to keep tabs on Santo's cell phone through which Ferrario discovered the whereabouts of Santo, who was now at the site of a train wreck. The Mafia boss immediately ordered Rudy and his henchmen to head to the location and ensure that Santo was finally eliminated. In brief, Rudy and his crew arrived and spotted Santo's car, but as they neared it, Santo began to kill off Rudy's men one by one. At one point, Santo detonated a bomb he had previously placed in the car. Rudy was the sole survivor of the train wreck and continued to search for Santo. Eventually, Santo managed to subdue Rudy, who revealed that the Mafia boss did not care about his youngest son and would persist in hunting Santo. Upon hearing this, Santo instantly killed Rudy. Meanwhile, Michaela pleaded with Sofia, explaining that her father was a monster who had murdered hundreds and urging her to release him. Sophia remained unmoved by Michaela's pleas. Soon, she received a call from Santo, who said his farewells as he intended to confront the Mafia boss at his headquarters. Sophia objected, not wanting to lose Santo, who proceeded to eliminate all of the Mafia boss's henchmen. After dispatching them, Santo shattered the glass and confronted the Mafia boss, who apologized and vowed to leave Santo alone. 
However, Santo knew the mafia boss would not honor his word and killed him immediately. Upon Santo's arrival, numerous police officers were waiting to apprehend him. Santo saw this as an opportunity for redemption and feigned reaching for a gun, prompting the officers to shoot him dead. The police rescued Michaela and escorted Sofia away. Sofia was taken to a children's shelter and cleared of all charges, as she was believed to be unaware of the situation. Later, Sofia encountered Michaela, who offered her a chocolate gift that she refused, citing her dislike for chocolate. As Michaela prepared to depart, he instructed Ferrario to eliminate Sofia the following day, just as Santo had done to his father. The next day, Ferrario informed Michaela that Sofia had vanished from the shelter, leaving Michaela stunned, as Sofia had already arrived at his residence. She proceeded to explain why she was there despite his orders to have her killed. At this point, Sofia had to decide whether she still harbored resentment towards the Mafia boss's family, including Michaela. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.